today we have a small topic related to power system network let's say here is the generator which is 660 megawatt big size steam turbine generator and here is the generator step up transformer and this one and this one these are the unit auxiliary transformers now the question is why this unit transformer high voltage side that means which is connected to this generator bus duct why this is bus duct connection and why not by cable connection so this is today's topic so let's start here is the generator 660 megawatt 22 kV generation voltage and this generator is connected with generator transformer by this bus duct this bus duct is definitely IPBD that is isophase bus duct isolated phase bus duct and if you notice here is the tapping point for the plant auxiliaries power supply through this unit auxiliary transformer so this is unit transformer 35 mva 35 mva transformer 22 by 11.5 kb this is also same 35 mva 22 by 11.5 kb transformer and this tapping is also by the isophase bus duct the only thing is that the continuous current rating here in case of main IPBD run this is 23000 ampere bus duct and for this tap off unit transformer tap off run this is 1250 ampere this is 1250 ampere IPBD isophase bus duct so why this tapping is also IPBD why it is bus duct and why not cable let's give the answer this if there is a fault at generator terminal the bus duct is designed in such a way that it will withstand that short circuit fault and also towards the generator step up transformer this bus duct so these two IPBDs, two bus ducts are in series that means whichever is the higher current rating short circuit rating so that will be selected for both the bus ducts because in case of any fault here at generator generator terminal so the fault current will come from this side so in that case the both the bus ducts should withstand that that much of fault current and if there is any fault at transformer end then the generator fault contribution will this fault current this bus duct should withstand so based on this this bus duct is designed and obviously let's say this is 150 150 kilo amps this is the bus duct short circuit rating but here in case of this ipbd tap of ipbd run here the short circuit withstand capability is much more than this ipbd main run because of the fault current if suppose here is a fault at any transformer this primary winding side then this bus duct should withstand the fault current which is coming from this generator side as well as the upstream side so 
this fault level is much higher let's say almost two times almost two times of the main ipvd run let's say this is 250 or 300 kilo amps rating now here is the answer here is the answer this cable connection can can be possible cable connection can be possible from this ipvd tap off run so the connection problem is not the problem the issue is related to the fault current the fault current rating which is too much high for this tap off run so if we use the cable here instead of this bus duct the cable is not available in the market or no cable manufacturer can manufacture the cables of this particular size with which can withstand this short circuit current short circuit capability that cable is not manufactured so the main thing is the short circuit rating of the cable we can use 1000 square mm cable or 630 square mm cable but but still it, it has approximately 100 or maximum 140 or max 150 kilo amps short circuit level not this much amount 250 or 300 kilo amps short circuit level so this is the reason let's check let's check one cable catalog for for rpg cable catalog i want to show you yeah so this is rpg rpg cable catalog rpg cables okay okay here here you can see for aluminum conductor this is copper conductor for aluminum conductor short circuit rating short circuit rating which is the highest cable size is 1000 square mm 1000 square mm size the short circuit corresponding short circuit rating is only 94 kilo amps only 94 kilo amps and if we use this copper conductor this copper cable then the short circuit rating is coming as 143 kilo amps only so this is the maximum size 1000 square mm cable for that also if we use the aluminium conductor 94 uh, 94 kilo amps short circuit rating and for copper conductor it is 143 kilo amps so this is the highest rating available in the market so this is much lower than 150 kilo amps so that bus duct connection is preferable compared to the cable so we cannot use cable over here for the unit transformer incomer let's check some of the images from CNS electric IPVD catalog so this is the transformer connection this is IPVD IPVD main run and this is tap off run let's check some of the important things we can discuss yeah so this is isolated phase bus duct yeah and this is the bus support insulator which is uh, 120 degree 120 insulators are positioned at 120 degree apart this is the actually uh, bus this is the current carrying conductor and these three are the insulator and this is 
the enclosure overall enclosure so these insulators are kept at 120 degree interval 120 degree effort from each other this is ipvd connection suppose here is the panel ngr for the transform for the generator neutral grounding cubicle that ngr connection will be there here is the circuit breaker isolated phase bus duct in between uh, between the generator and generator transformer between the generator and generator transformer uh, there will be generator circuit breaker if that scheme is gcb scheme for non gcb scheme this generator circuit breaker will not be there instead station transformer will be available for the plant startup power from power grid these are the accessories and this is uh, suppose uh, engineer neutral grounding cubicle ipvd connection here so these are some typical connections that is the ipvd and now this is coming to the spvd which is segregated phase bus duct yeah here the segregated phase bus duct you can see this is uh, this uh, this round shape this uh, this round shape this uh, this is ipvd and this is tap of run and this is spvd segregated phase bus duct suppose at 11 kb or 6.6 .6 kb we use segregated phase bus duct here it is through segregated phase bus duct or we can connect it through cable also why it is called segregated phase bus duct because all the phases are segregated all are partitioned by this barrier so phase r y b three phases are segregated from each other yeah this is ipbd this is step off this is spbd most probably this is gcb circuit breaker okay now this is a non segregated phase bus duct this is uh, for low voltage system for low voltage system we use non segregated why it is non segregated because the phase r y b those are not partitioned those are not partitioned only overall enclosure is there r y b n okay okay so that's all uh, here we have checked about the ipvd spvd and nspvd as well but our topic was related to that unit transformer tap of connection from the main ipvd from from the ipvd main run generator to generator transformer or that tap of point up to the unit transformer primary side so that why that is bus duct connection and not the cable connection so that was our topic and the conclusion was uh, due to the fault current restrictions for the cable we cannot use cable instead we have to use bus duct